everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader tutorial video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to teach you how to side load in your own applications to the Amazon Kindle Fire HD7. And Peter here is going to document the entire procedure that you need to employ in order to download apps either from the web or from alternative app stores to the Android market. All right, so you see we're on our Goody Reader app store right here on the web version using the web browser on the Amazon Kindle Fire. Now what we want to do is go over to the Goody Reader App Store client here and then you see there's a download link here. Now you can't directly down right out of the box the Amazon Kindle is not set up to download or install APKs. So what you have to do is let's go back to home for a second. Let's go to the top menu and click more. After that you see your account uh, you see your settings here so you want to go down to device and click that you'll notice here it says allow installations of applications from unknown sources That's default set to off we want this to be on and then it'll tell you that it's at your own risk and all that read the documents before you uh, do this now that that is set up go back to home you see on your home screen it saves all the applications that we have open so let's go back to the browser now we can download the Goody Reader App Store client. So we're going to click the download link. Starting download. And it'll show up at the top of the device right here. Android complete. So we're going to go ahead and click this once. Install or cancel. Please press install. Wait for that to install done or open whether you click done or open they're kind of the same thing open will open it immediately done will send it to your app uh, device storage so let's just click open brings up our app store sponsored by shoppyreaders.com and here you will find thousands upon thousands of applications that you can instantly click and download and install automatically onto your Kindle Fire 7 yeah, once you follow this tutorial, say, with an App Store client like our own, it's pretty well your online gateway to, you know, over 8,000 applications right now. Why you would want to install third-party app stores? Well, because if you live outside the U.S., you can't actually download apps, games, and whatnot from directly from Amazon unless you have a U.S. credit card and billing address, which Shopee Readers does provide with a new initiative uh, for the holidays. But, you know, this is a very valued option to be able to install what you want and not actually be limited by anybody and you could use our own app store you could um, down, you know you could install other app markets like get jar and uh, a lot of other type of things so some games of course make you have to sort of load third party type of stuff if you want faint is like one of them you can either opt in or opt out but we have a little bit of Fruit Ninja happening here. And this is uh, all because we loaded in one side loaded market and we can instantly install thousands of games. And another reason why you would want to do this is Amazon, if you're if you're big into comics and big into e-reader apps, Amazon doesn't really have Kobo, Barnes & Noble, Sony, uh, and a ton of other very popular e-reading apps in its own Android market. And you might want to download these. You know, just because you have a Kindle Fire does not mean you exclusively have to be locked into the Amazon ecosystem, but you can actually download tons upon tons of different e-reader applications. Um, an example of it is most of the apps listed here Amazon doesn't have. So this has been a simple video teaching you how to sideload in your own applications uh, either from the web or from alternative app stores. Hopefully it's been valuable for you and if you have any comments or questions please comment on this video or you can check out our e-reader news site at goodyreader.com and for Goody Reader, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.